welcome to Monday. It's the deload week. I uh, decided I wanted to do the elastic series there for the warm up. So I did two sets of 20 meters each of those. I've got a few build ups now. So I've got four 40 meter build ups. I'm going to go about 80, 85 percent on those. And then today's workout is wickets. So I've got 12 wickets set up. So each of those is at two meters 10. Four sets of those today, so a little bit less volume overall, but the intensity is going up a little bit. So, just because it's a deload week doesn't mean that it needs to be an easy week. You can still train hard on deloads, you just got to monitor the overall volume. So, the intensity is going to stay pretty high. Um, I only have four sets, but I'm increasing that intensity by dragging out how many of those cones uh, are at 210 this week. So last week I believe I did eight at 210, this week I'm doing all 12 at 210. So I'm gonna hit up the buildups next and then we're gonna finish off with the wickets. One thing's for sure, I feel slow today. Last week beat me up a little bit, uh, so D load definitely needed right now. But that's to be expected when you go hard for an entire week. You have like a high level of intensity for multiple days in a row. When you take that short little break and get back to training, you usually feel like crap. That's kind of what's hitting me today. So we're just gonna go through. So today's goal for the wickets is to just try to get four perfect repetitions. Um, don't have a lot of sprints to do today, so I feel like for four reps, I'm just gonna focus on being as relaxed as possible, being as smooth as possible, and trying to make each of these four wickets feel as effortless as possible. So that's gonna be the goal. We're gonna get after it. Alright, that's it for the AM session. I would say not my best session overall, but worked through it. Just felt heavy. Felt like I was kind of running through sand on those last couple reps. Just not able to like pick my feet up, put them down as fast as I was doing last week or the week before. But like I said, coming off of a heavy week like that, it's kind of expected to be a little sluggish first day going back at it. So deload week this week. Nice start to it so far. So next up we have the weightlifting session this afternoon.
right, so that's day one of the deload week. Today's weight room session started off with some power cleans. So I had three sets of two at 75%. So for me, that was 150 kilos. I added that little pause every time I caught the bar. Just want to work on footwork, feel strong in that position where I catch the bar um, on each one of those reps. So that threw that in there today. 75%, not too heavy where I can't play around with some things and still feel good. Uh, followed up the power cleans with front squats. Had five sets of two at 140 kilos, which is roughly 65% for me. And nothing special on those, just regular front squats, just five doubles, knock those out. Finished up today with the dumbbell split squats. I had two sets of five on each leg. Uh, really wanted to focus on going through a full range of motion, focus on keeping that front foot in full contact on the riser and try to push that knee forward as far as I could today. Just working through ranges of motion mainly was the focus there. One thing I've always tried to do is move through a full range of motion uh, while going through any of my loaded movements. So when I'm doing squats, I try to go down through a full range. When I do any kind of lunges, I try to go through a full range of motion. Same thing with upper body pressing and whatever it is I'm doing. And if that's a huge reason why I don't have to do hardly any mobility work and I'm able to stay healthy and stay mobile uh, is because I go through those full ranges of motion under load, which in my opinion is much better than adding in like a 15 or 20 minute just static stretch session after your training session is over. I mean, it has some recovery benefits for it a little bit, but I feel like you don't need to do that to increase your range of motion specifically if you have good range of motion while you're going through all of your movements in your training session. Day one of the deload is done. Looking forward to the rest of the week. My body definitely needed a break. Felt it this morning going through those runs. It just felt heavy and sluggish and slow. Felt a little bit better in the weight room today. Things were moving well. Um, the loads overall, 70 percent average on everything today felt great so tomorrow we're going to be back at it appreciate you guys watching the videos make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys tomorrow